Those of you who know me might be aware that I've been playing Mario Kart Wii almost every single day since the game released in April 2008. I was seven years old at the time, but I quickly took a liking to it, mastering all the shortcuts and courses that I could, and feeling a great sense of achievement from the littlest things. It happens that I'm virtually undefeated by anyone I've ever met or played. I might not even be big into video games at all if it weren't for this game. Just accept it. I am, and have always been, the Mario Kart God. For you see, I have done everything there is to do in the game. Mastered all the challenges, beaten all the courses, unlocked all the characters. Everything. Everything except one. One thing that initially I never thought would bring me on the kind of adventure that it did. Easy. How naive I was. I tried for days straight without breaks, but it was getting in my way. I'd have to give up and accept failure eventually. Until last night. I swear to God, I just did it. I just beat every single fast staff ghost in Mario Kart Wii on my very first try for all of them. I am so, so proud. Say hello to YouTube, Meruchan. Hello, hello. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Expert Staff Ghost Challenge. The rules are simple. Beat every expert staff ghost in Mario Kart Wii. Oh, and uh, all on your first try. That's right folks, no restarting any race. At first I wanted this to be a if I fail the challenge the video ends kind of project, but then I realized this is something I actually want to do. I'd go further in detail, but nobody says it better than past NM Mindstorm. Okay, so I'm about to start this challenge. I really don't know, it could go either way, it could be the most difficult thing in the world, or it could just be a breeze and I'll finish it in one or two tries. Uh, I haven't experienced this yet, so I'm going to see what I can even make happen. <laughs> and screw Funky Kong, this is Russia. Three days later. I have nothing else. I could have been doing so much productive with my time, and here I am, <laughs> editing a video that I thought was going to be a quick afternoon project. I mean, sure, I said, who knows, it could be the hardest thing in the world, but I didn't really expect it to be like that. I've probably poured more hours into this than I have into the Rainbow Road Ultra Shortcut, which I still haven't gotten. So just know that. An understandable reaction when you've been pushing your very sanity to its limits for longer than an entire weekend? If you're masochistic enough to attempt this yourself, allow me to set some incentives. 
You start here, Luigi Circuit. No exceptions. You may get out of Mushroom Cup, congratulations, you get an Iron Medal. How about Mushroom and Flower Cup? Awful confident of you to assume you'll surpass Wario's gold mine, but I digress. Bronze Medal. If somehow you make it out of all the Nitro Cups, that's Mushroom, Flower, Star, and Special Cup winning them all in a row, I have no choice but to award you this here Silver Medal. Now let's talk about the tracks. First, huh, what? What if you beat all 32 tracks? Heh, <laughs> cute. Okay, here's a chart showing all the times you'll need to beat for the Nitro Cups. These are the times I got. I put an unlisted video link in the description to my full run if you have an hour and a half to kill. See these green exclamation marks? These are the tracks that won't give you a very hard time. You can expect to catch a breath of fresh air here. And uh, yeah, you'll hate the red exclamation mark tracks. Time for retros! Here are the times you need to beat. Here are my times. And here are your difficulty indicators. You're welcome. It'll get easy to feel nervous and shaky when you're attacking the last two cups. Mitigate this by taking absolutely zero risks. I mean it. And if your confidence is low enough, you might not even want to take inside turns near fences or ledges. Just play the course safely and stay on the road. I'm not saying you aren't good at the shortcuts, but you're going to be crushed when you go for that rail shortcut on N64 Bowser's Castle and fall in the lava only for Bowser Jr. to beat you on the last race. Don't do it! That all being said, playing too timidly will also lead to failure. This is me getting crushed by a thwomp on N64 Bowser's Castle. My mic was muted, but you can still hear my screams. And finally, if you can do this, please, post a link to your run in the comments section. If I find that it's valid, I guess I'll have to do a volume 2 of this video, CTGP edition. Enough said.